So so five years at the energy. Yeah. Um, you know, had some great times. Yes. Some 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 great. I mean, like penalty shootouts to yes. to get. You know, like that's why I'm going back for what three or four years, and you got finals and winning yep. and and playing against Tulsa and the yep. wrench and all just all these awesome memories. Uh, you know, sadly it comes to an end. Yes. Like all good things have to. Um, and you're transitioning into a new role. Um, and, you know, this is last, I mean, within the last 12 months, it's been a huge time for you, right? You, yes. You, you married now to a beautiful wife, Ali. Thank you. Yes. Uh, you have two awesome dogs. Thanks, bro. <laughs> One and I know no, another, partial. right? <laughs> I know partial. Uh, how, you know, uh, uh, I mean, to that bought point. Bought a house. How, you bought a house. Oh, yeah. how, how is the new pup? How oh, is the new pup settling in? She's, uh, she's a terror so far. <laughs> but we love it. We love it. I mean, Leonard, our older one, I don't yeah. know how much he's lo- he's enjoying it, but He'll she's full, full, it. full of energy and they love each other. And, yeah. You know, it's, it, it is, uh, it's pretty fun so far. Yeah. It's pretty so, fun. so like I said, you, you know, you get married, you buy a house. I mean, just all this life change is mm-hmm. happening. And then, you know, you, you get to the point that all this is happening before, I guess, you know, you, you know that yeah. you're not playing again. Yeah. Um, you know, and now you're transitioning into into the agency role. Correct. Tell me a little bit about that. Tell me about that decision. Yes. You know, just time of life that that took you down that road. Of course. Yeah. So I I firmly believe, and I know I know physically, I could have played a couple more years. Mm-hmm. Uh, unfortunately, the energy did not pick up my option, um, and then subsequently, the offers that I received from other teams just were not worth it to to pick up. And relocate, yeah. right? And, and a family now, correct? Yeah, Desta- destabilize, yeah. right? I don't think any success comes from uh, a destabilized home life. Sure, you know, and um, and I made the decision along with my wife after talking that the time is right to uh, positively affect the next generation of player. Gotcha. Because there is a lot of misinformation out there. There is a lot of. Uh, over promising and under delivering when it yeah. comes to agents, right? They're, they'll say, "Hey, Mike, I'm gonna yeah. take you to Barcelona," and and then all of a sudden, what happened? You Barcelona? land in Barcelona. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're going on. Hours yeah, to yes, to exactly, town. exactly. Yeah. So there's there's a lot of that. Right. I I, I, I take the opposite approach. Yeah. Um, I speak with players. Listen, I'm not a miracle worker, right? I have I do have a good network of coaches and and former teammates who are now coaches and yeah. You know, people that work in the front office that that I that right. trust me, but again, I am not going to promise anything. So under promise, but over deliver. Yeah, yeah. Right. Um, along with not only the players that I've met within the USL, but internationally. Yeah. So with representing Puerto Rico, I, I firmly believe in the Caribbean-based player. Right. Uh, and and now I think the the talent is there. Now, can I be the bridge to create that opportunity? Right. Yeah. And bring um, that here. You know, and a, and a positive, like we were talking before we went on air. Um, you know, with Puerto Rico being a Commonwealth of the United States, they do not count as international players, yeah. which is a massive feather in their cap, if you will. Sure. Um, for for employment purposes. Yeah. So because because the league limits teams to on, I think seven. Yeah, international per, per players. roster, and, and yeah. each team is very protective over. Over those right. th- th- those spots, those roster spots, so so yeah, I, I think it's the logical next step. I was a part, and I've had to recently, obviously, step away because of the conflict of interest that yeah. that is with the USL Players Association. Gotcha. That was an undertaking that I've wanted to be a part of forever, in standard standardizing uh, you know contractual agreements. Uh-huh. For players in the U in the USL, because yeah. the reality is, you have you could share a locker room with a guy who's on six figures, mm. and you could share a locker room with a guy who's on a zero dollar contract. Yeah. To this day, yeah. it happens. Uh, it ha- and I firmly believe that uh, if you are good enough to be, uh, you know, in a locker room, yeah, yeah. you're good enough to be compensated for it. Right. For right? sure. And I and I think uh, I think. Uh, without getting too dramatic, I think there are there have been times where players have been on trial for uh-huh. all year. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And that's 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 called exploitation of labor. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, that is that is not oh we're just going to give you an opportunity. It's not an extended. That's not an extended. Yeah. yeah that's, no, that's ex- being, you're being used. You're being used. Yeah. You're, you, let's call it like it is. You're being used yeah. for numbers in terms of like if you know whatever drill they're doing it yeah. during the set. Right. But. The, 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 and yes, the argument would be, well, they're doing it on their own volition, right? Yeah. But they're taking, they're, they're taking a risk on themselves. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So who has their back? Nobody has their back. No one, yeah, no yeah. one has their back. So uh, not, not, not looking at this as a savior, 
uh, point of view, but looking at it as, okay, how can I positively affect mm-hmm. the next generation? Yeah. 